What up, Pisces? How you doing? I know that you've been going through a transformation. I know that Divine has said over and over again that um, some major changes were coming in for you. You're a water sign, but we're in retrograde, so you're going to be revisiting the past for a little while. Even though your forefront is moving forward, job stability, love is moving on, that kind of thing, you're still nostalgic. You're still looking back on an opportunity that was missed. Yep, secrets coming to light. The yin and the yang. I heard your bark is bigger than your bite. That you're going to get bit by a Scorpio or someone uh, in business is taking you head on in regards to your bullshit. Normally, I don't call you on your own shit, but in this case, Spirit's saying, I'm watching you. Someone's coming out of hermit. Someone's been through a bit of a tragedy, um, healing from a situation, and uh, moving forward. I have the Ten of Cups. You're looking for love. You're coming out of being battered and bruised, and you're looking for the closing of this cycle. You're looking to end the old and start with something new. The Tower moment confirmation here that you've gone through it and justified verified what exactly i said that you were ending a vicious cycle looking for love in all the wrong places is what i heard looking for love in too many places open your eyes smile in your face what i'm dreaming of a lot of you doing therapy working on the balance of you and your working and your emotions and your feelings and your insecurities stemming back with Lots of options, always having options, always being the king dang lang. If this is masculine energy, you are fine as wine. You cut out everything that doesn't serve you. But somebody got under your skin. Somebody that you looked at them, again, many options and passion as well. Somebody opened up a door to you and showed you the finer life. Wearing your heart on your sleeve, snake. Now a little cautious when entering. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius has cut you. Someone cut you. Cut apart a piece of your heart, but what you don't realize is that was a karmic. They're here to teach you a lesson. They needed to break you down so that you could actually see the one person you let go, your queen of cups. Someone who's delightful and feminine, beautiful, knows her own power, stands the test of time, Almost in another life, she was your counterpart, like Grace Kelly, classy. You overlooked them, masculine or feminine energy. You looked right past them. You have the connection and the passion, but you had so many options, you let them get away. You're healing, you're recovering nicely. <clears throat> Some things in work are going your way, stability and stability and love coming in. You're balancing out, you're working on what happened in your childhood. You're working what happened in your past. Show me what the two of swords means here, spirit. The queen of coins, yes. Balance, balance is letting you know that the person that you are looking for is the diamond. The cat's meow, precious. Their heart is worth a million dollars in gold. And now you have to let go of the money in order to see them, kind of like this. What is seen is unseen. Once was there, is no longer. Can you salvage and get them back into your life? Spirit is telling me that <clears throat> there was two choices here. And in the middle of it was a lot of tears and heartbreak. Both bringing different energies. One bringing full of joy and love, happiness, always made you smile, was your complete same partner, your twin. You would speak, they would finish your sentence. You have the same thought process and that scared the shit out of you because Pisces, let's be honest, you're very controlling, but you're very devoted to compassionate, but new beginning in love. Three cups, collaboration. You're working on a partnership and a community project with someone. Yeah, can't make this shit up. Acquainted lovers from a past life as my voice softens. You're her, um, I don't know what the guy's name is with Grace Kelly. You're her knight in shining armor. You're the one she gave her heart to. She didn't see you coming. You didn't see her coming. Everything that you weren't looking for, this person had 444 four, four across the board, stability. My voice is lower now. They're bringing me speechless. I think they took your breath away. I think from the very first moment you wanted to kiss this person, couldn't stop thinking about them. 
but you had someone in your life, so you started the situation out wrong. And then before you knew it, it got out of control. <clears throat> and then they walked away. Just when you needed the most. Remember that song? Just when I needed you most. And you needed that person, but you chose wrong. Clarification in your feelings. You want to make what's right, right. You want to tell them how you feel. If you could do it over again, you may not, but losing them was hard, harder than you thought. Victory with a fire sign. So we have a water sign moving forward to a fire sign. So we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces on one side, which is your water sign, you're in your emotions. <clears throat> you're working through abandonment and you know, being from big family, I'm getting that you were lost in the shuffle, so you always worked harder and put love aside. And then with the fire sign brought in was passion and they made you feel special and kind of like you were like this big bear wrapped around them and you protected them with all your love. You didn't know you were doing it, but you were. They were always there for you and you kind of neglected them. And they felt neglected, but they walked on and moved on. Eight of Cups, communication and love. <clears throat> You're gonna try to reconcile when you heal, but you definitely need time to heal. Closing on a cycle, it's been hard. You've been carrying a lot of loads in your life. From kids to ex-wives to <clears throat> ex-husbands <clears throat> to financial ruin to success. You've been working so hard that you just need to sit still. You called your life partner in, but it's not the right time. Let go and let God. <clears throat> this person used to laugh at you. He used to make them laugh. I felt giddy. I feel like a little kid. What's the final outcome, spirit? A message of victory, partnership, a message of love, a message of companionship, equal give and take, telling you how they really feel. I did you with them, but I see it being you. <clears throat> if this person had an opportunity, Pisces, to come back, the one that got away and tell you how they feel, let's see what they would say. What would the diamond say to the water? I can see my shadow in you. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm funny. Whoa, save that. <laughs> I shine when the moon glistens. That's so weird. They would say to you, please release me and let me go. It's not fair you're holding on to them. If you don't want them, let them go. You've kind of always had them there loving you and when you needed them, you would call them and they kept reaching out, but you only reached out for one thing. They were worth more than that, so they all left you alone. <clears throat> I am your better half. Twin flame journey. Couldn't have called that one. And they want to start over. What would you say if you had the opportunity, Pisces, to your person, the one that got away? What would you say? I heard Mr. Softy in the background. I love ice cream. Okay, Pisces, what would you say with my beautiful awakening deck? Love this. Makes me smile every time I see it. I love taking pictures. It's from my garden. Somebody told me a long time ago I couldn't plant a garden, but what people don't realize is I'm a seed. When you're the seed of Christ, you're the seed of spiritual being, when you're a seed, you can grow under any conditions because we don't divinely guide us. God does that. Spirit does that. We don't do it alone. It takes earth and grounding. It takes water and rain. It takes fire to stay away from it, to heat the ground. So it grows. It's a purple, purple, perfect equal balance. You would say, happy to take three. The journey was hard, but the destination was worth it. If you were there waiting for me. You would also say to your partner, I always knew you were the one who got away. Hence why they're coming back. And let's get married. <clears throat> Something that a Pisces doesn't want to normally do, unless they're sure. Sometimes they make the wrong decision. It's only when they put money in front of love that they make the wrong decision. But when you're in your heart space, you find the perfect partner. Sometimes you need to break your ego to realize what's really good for you. It's not what you want, it's what you need. And spirit knows exactly what the Pisces needs. Someone who's competitive, who challenges you, who not only looks good, but plays the part 
a little bit of a homemaker, but yet stable and secure, seductive and sexy, passionate, an equal player. Well, that's what they say. <clears throat> what I would say here is that at the final end of this spread, <clears throat> I'm gonna clarify this real quick at the bottom, <clears throat> then I'm gonna pull the messages for occupation and numbers that will help um, the Pisces on their journey and finding a job since COVID is here and a lot of people had lost their jobs. King of Cups. You are the King of Cups, but you need to master it. Since you've let some of the things go in your life, you can move forward and put love at the forefront. <clears throat> Close out the vicious cycle. Can't call this shit. Six of Cups, you're ready. You're going to move forward and tell this person how you really feel about them. It wasn't just sex for you. There was really some kind of thing. You still wonder about it, still shake your head. Really, was there something there or not? Bogs you. Pisces like to fix things. They like to be winners. They like to win at no cost, all costs, no holds bar. Even when someone walks away from you, you wanna win at some cost, 11-11. <clears throat> Uncertainty with your money, that's why you're not coming forward. And final outcome. When will you come forward? <laughs> Can't make this shut up. Six days, six weeks, six months. I'm sensing six days or six weeks. This is the lover's card. This is divinely guided. The Lord puts you through obstacles and not knowing or being certain with your money. <clears throat> with the message coming in to let you know that your lover is still there waiting. They've always been there. It's up to you to find them. They're not just going to poof. Put it out in the street and say, here they are. They're going to come in a small package with a big poof, a big boom. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Rocky like a hurricane. I don't even like that song. I crack myself up sometimes. Any of you crack yourself up? Tell me about your day. Send me a message. Let me know, Pisces. Is this really you? Books and learning. You could be getting into TV and music or maybe podcasts. The fifth day of the month might be important. You might be going into banking. It's pretty much for a Pisces. A fisherman <laughs> on the third. Outdoors, water. Legal or paralegal. Around the 19th is a good day. Two more. <clears throat> Travel. Physical therapy. And on the first or the 14th. There you have it, your forecast for your future. YoungNicole44 at gmail.com. If you're interested in some of my Oracle deck, which they're absolutely beautiful. They're all different colors, orange and yellow, everything for fall and brown. Hit me up, we can go direct or it's on Etsy or if you'd like to order, it's called The Awakening. Let me know, love to have you on board. Share some messages with your friends. If it didn't resonate, don't make it fit. Come back and see me next time. Share, like, subscribe. Let's spread the word. It's not about us. It's about everyone that we can help one day at a time. Shine like a diamond. Thanks for stopping by. Pisces, good luck and love.